Mm. I love the way it tastes. You know, I'm really glad it doesn't taste like lemons. I don't think I'd like it as much then. Maybe that's why no one's ever thought of spinach-flavoured ice cream and leek-flavoured chocolate. Ugh, the thought sends shivers up my spine. You know, I guess the question is, why does chocolate taste sweet and lemons taste sour? Um, because it has two different flavours. One day I ate an orange when it was green and it was really, really sour. Sour's got a healthier taste than sweet. These are lollies, but um, it has sour stuff in it. <laughs> we also ate a lemon. Hmm, maybe. You know, I think taste has something to do with your tongue. Let me try that again. I think taste has something to do with your tongue. You know you've got five senses. There's sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. You use your tongue to taste things. But because our sense of taste isn't very strong, our tongue normally works with a partner. Smell. Meet special agent tongue and special agent nose, FBT. Federal Bureau of Taste. And these two officers of the law work together to make sure things taste right. Sometimes, though, the nose can really sway the tongue. If things smell good, then they normally taste good, too. Well, your tongue can only recognise four different kinds of tastes. There's sweet, salty, sour and bitter. And I've got examples of those tastes here. Let's start with the sweet one first. Sugar is naturally sweet. And if I put a little on my tongue, my tongue can taste that sweetness. Mm. But before I can taste any of the other flavours, I need to clear that sweetness out of my mouth. So I've got some dry bread here. This will help to cleanse the palate. Ready for the next taste sensation. This is salt. Now salt is a unique flavour. Mm. It has a taste all of its own. And it makes your mouth do funny things. But not quite as funny as the next one, so let me clear away that flavour in my mouth. And we'll go for the next taste. Mm. A sour taste. Lemon. Lemon is very sour. And my tongue can pick up that taste really easily. Mm. I'll just clear that taste out of my mouth. Mm. Ready for the next taste. And this one I don't like. Lots of people do like it, but it's very bitter. It's Coffee. Coffee is very strong and very bitter. Mm. Mm. Even worse than lemons. Whoa. Quick, clear that out of my mouth. But my tongue was able to easily detect all those different tastes and flavours. Mm. Much better. Your tongue also has touch senses. And touch sensors are able to detect things like textures and cold and hot things. And these sensations help you to enjoy your drink and food. Everyone's tastes are different. And your tastes will change as you get older. In fact, when you were a baby, you had taste buds on your tongue, but you also had them on the sides of your mouth and the roof of your mouth. As you grow older, those taste buds start to disappear and you're only left with the ones on your tongue. And then as you get older still, those taste buds become less sensitive. So when you're older, you're able to eat stronger foods than you were when you were a child. Oh, did you know that fish can taste things with their fins and their tails as well as with their mouths? Hmm. <laughs> 
didn't the entire surface of my tongue pick up tastes? Or is my tongue broken up into segments? Well, let's find out. I've got a sugar solution here. Which part of my tongue will pick up the sweet tastes? Mm. Mm, the tip of my tongue picks up sweet tastes. How about salty tastes? Mm. The tip of my tongue picks up the salty tastes too. Sour tastes? The side of my tongue picks up the sour tastes. And bitter tastes. Mm -mm. Mm. And I've decided the back of my tongue can pick up these bitter tastes and I don't like them. <laughs> On the surface of your tongue, the roof of your mouth and the back of your throat, there are small hollows called taste buds. And if you look at the surface of somebody's tongue with a strong magnifying lens, you can see those taste buds. Inside those taste buds, there are taste cells, which have tiny hairs on the end. Your tongue is always wet. Chemicals in the food you eat dissolve in the liquid in your mouth. This liquid goes into the taste buds. The little hairs on the taste cells detect the taste. The taste cells then send a message to the nerves in your tongue. These nerves send messages to your brain to tell you whether the taste is sweet, salty, sour or bitter or a combination. There are also cells which can detect the burning caused by pepper or curry. These cells tell you that the pepper and curry taste hot. Sometimes our taste buds are lazy, like when we have a cold and our nose isn't working properly to help our taste buds in the smelling department. Or sometimes when we've eaten something cold, like an ice block. So I've set up a test. I have some apple, and some potato. And if I block my nose, just like it is when I've got a cold so I can't smell, and take a bite of some apple, and then take a bite of some potato, they should both taste the same. And they do. They both taste really bland. Well, let's try that again, this time with the power of my nose unleashed. Apple first. Mmm, mmm, sweet, juicy, yum. And now, the potato. Ugh. This definitely tastes like raw potato. <laughs> You can do various taste tests with your own tongue. One good one to try is take four glasses with water in them, and the first add a little salt, and the second a little sugar, and the third some lemon juice, and in the fourth something bitter like coffee or cocoa. Sip each, swill it around in your mouth, and see which part of your tongue picks up the different tastes. Maybe make a note of the different foods you like to eat and what kind of tastes they have. And if you'd like more science info, head to my website. I'm at www.suzy.co.nz. Hey, did you enjoy the program? Good. It shows that you've got good taste. Ka kite. Can't remember what his next thing off. And fiddle. Thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.